y'all probably don't know who I am, but uh, you might be familiar with GR Studios Music if you're on this video, and that's me, basically. Uh, so yeah, this video is not going to be like my other ones. Um, it's not a beat making video, uh, but it does have to do with machine. This one's going to be a little more informative. For a long time, uh, I used Logic to make my beats, and then I picked up the machine, and you know, I, just, I loved it. I mean, the hardware was great. It was a little more interactive, and I, I really liked using it, but I was looking for a way to, to integrate it into Logic, and it, for the longest time, I couldn't figure it out. I just couldn't figure it out, and I looked all over the internet. Uh, YouTube's got some good videos out there, but I just couldn't figure it out by those videos, so... I'm figuring, I mean, I, end, I ended up figuring it out. It's not that hard. Uh, but I, I figure somebody out there is having the same problem I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this video out. And hopefully I can help somebody out. So I'm going to show you guys how to integrate machine into Logic real quick. And so first thing I'm going to do is pull up Logic right here. Okay. So let me make this full screen real quick. And what I'm about to do... Uh, okay, let me move something real quick. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up the mixer. And we're going to open up an instance of of machine. Now, this is kind of where I was messing up. It's important uh, for the sake of being able to mix each individual sound. Like there's 16 pads, so you have 16 sounds. Um, it's important that you want to mix those separately when you're done with the beat or with whatever you're doing. So it's important to open up multi output 16 by stereo. That's the one you want to open up when you're opening up machine, or at least that's the one I was trying to find. And I, for some reason could never find it, but there it is. So we're going to open that one up. I'm going to give it a second to load. And as soon as it's done loading up, it's going to look exactly like the standalone machine software. Now, I'm on Machine Micro, but the software is the same on both Machine and Machine Micro, so this should work if you're on Machine. I'm on the Machine Micro. So I'm going to, here it is. It's opened up as a plugin in Logic. Uh, excuse me. As a plugin in Logic. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to load up a kit. I'm going to load up, go here, load the dub kit. Now, we opened up Machine. I loaded up a kit you see right here. I have, there's my kit, I'm playing them right there. But you'll see that there's one channel strip for it. I play any pad, if I play any pad, it's all in one channel strip. Now this is where I was having the issue because I'm obviously not just gonna play and leave it like that. I wanna be able to mix them at the end. So what you're gonna have to do uh, to, it's poss It's very possible. What you're gonna have to do to get that and to get all these these pads to their individual channel strip is you want to hit this little plus right here on the bottom of the first instrument, and you're just gonna keep hitting that. It's gonna open up 15 oxes. So those 15 oxes, in addition to this first channel strip, are gonna give you the 16 pads. Now. You'll see that I, pl I play the, the pads, but they're still coming out of the first one. You have to assign each pad an aux, essentially. So what I'm going to do, if I go to the, the very first pad, which is a kick in this case, I'm going to click on that pad in the plugin, and then I'm going to click out. And then where it says output, instead of group, I'm going to assign out one. And then I'm going to do that for each one of these, respective to their number. So pad two is going to be out two. Pad uh, three is going to be out three. Uh, pad four is going to be out four. Uh, five is going to be five. Six is going to be six. And I'm going to stop here just so I don't do all of them. But you're going to do that for all 16. And now when I go in and play pad one, two, three, four, five, and six, you'll see they're assigned to their own aux in the mixer now. So now I can freely just mix this however I want. If I wanna lower that up, I can lower this. If I wanna lower this up, I can do that and I'm not affecting anything else 
um, volume wise. I can add effects to it. I can EQ them separately uh, within Logic. Um, Logic still got, I mean, you can do anything in Logic that you would normally do if you just recorded it. Now, the great thing about this is that all the features on the hardware um, still work. So if I want to do note repeat, I can hold down note repeat and hold down a, hold down a pad and it's still working uh, because I don't have it in MIDI mode. So the full hardware features are still working. Um, I think count in doesn't work or something. Some like two features don't work, but for the most part it's working. And this is what I couldn't figure out for the longest. And it's actually pretty simple. So if somebody out there doesn't know what they're doing or, or something. I mean, here it is. It took me a long time. Hopefully it won't take you guys as long if you're watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up, leave a comment, message me, uh, hit me up on Twitter or whatever, and I'll try my best to get to get back to you. And because I, I was really, really, really mad for the longest time at Native Instruments just because I couldn't figure it out. And I don't want I, if I can help someone bypass that frustration, I'm glad to help out. All right. So hopefully that helps somebody and uh, check out the beats, grstudiosmusic.com. Follow me on Twitter at grstudiosmusic, uh, Facebook, SoundCloud. You're obviously already on my YouTube channel. Uh, just hit me up, all right? Cool. Catch you guys in the next vid.